A Twin Cities mother is trying to get more kids to wear helmets when they skateboard or ride bikes. Her son, Willie Bosch, fractured his skull in a skateboarding accident nearly two years ago. He was not wearing a helmet. Willie had to learn to talk and walk again. His mom, Mary Barsness, has teamed up with the Minnesota Brain Injury Alliance for the No Helmet, No Ride program. And Brad Donaldson is with the Brain Injury Alliance. Thank you both for joining us this afternoon. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. us. So first of all, Mary, how is your son Willie doing? He's doing great. We're, we're uh, the exception. Yeah, you must feel really lucky. Uh, he had suffered quite a significant injury. He did. He did. When he fell, um, once we got him over to Regions, we discovered there were three brain bleeds and his skull was fractured. Um, it's really significant. I almost lost my boy. And uh, now, you know, I'm the mother of a miracle. <laughs> well, we're so glad he's doing better. So you guys are teaming up to talk about the No Helmet, No Ride program and really kind of to change the stigma of people. They don't wear helmets. Right. You're trying to get the word out to make sure people do. Yeah, it's making me sort of crazy. You know how you don't know what you don't know until it happens to mm -hmm. you and then it's all you can see? Mm -hmm. So that's sort of what's happened to me. And what the goal is is to go to middle school and high schools and talk to those kids because I think that's where we're losing them mm -hmm. um, and explain Willie's story and how this one decision made such a huge difference. And we're seeing video of kids at a skate park. Nobody's wearing a video. In <laughs> fact, I don't think I ever see skateboarders or I'm sorry, right. wearing a helmet. I don't, I don't see any skateboarders ever wearing a helmet. Brad, why do you think that that connection's not being made, that you need to wear a helmet on a skateboard? It, there's a variety of factors. I mean, one of the strong ones is, let's face it, as kids, we think we're invincible. And it's not the norm to wear a helmet, so therefore you're the outlier. Everybody wants to belong to their culture and their mm -hmm. society. And that's what this program, through Mary's story and Willie's experience, hopes to change, is that the culture becomes, that's the norm, not the exception. And when you talk about culture, it starts at the top with parents, too. A lot of times you'll see right. kids riding their bikes with moms and dads. They're not wearing their helmets. How do you make sure that that message right. is heard to parents also, Mary? You know, I, uh, when I talk to the kids, I always apologize for the adult role modeling. <laughs> you know, when they're little, we'll put helmets on and then we'll get on our bikes with them, but we don't put our own helmets mm -hmm. on. And so the message they're receiving is, as soon as you get good enough at this, you don't have to wear a helmet. And I think we need to explain to them, you know, more accidents are accidents. Yeah, it's not about your skill level. We know that you have taken it upon yourself on your own free time <laughs> whenever you can. When you see a child out there without wearing a helmet, you talk to them and uh -huh. show them pictures of your son, Willie. And now you want to get in to schools to talk to kids on a more larger level. Tell us about what you're hoping to accomplish. So what I've been doing, and it's been really amazing, is going into schools. Some are assemblies, some are just in their classrooms. Um, and sharing Willie's story, I have some videos and, and things from the accident, from the time at, at the hospital at Gillette. I think it really resonates with the kids about, like, this isn't as random as you think it is. This isn't as crazy as you think it is. This could be you, and this one decision is so limiting. Okay, well, if your school or community organization would like to have a presentation from the No Helmet, No Ride program, just call the number 612-378-2742. You can also make a donation to the No Helmet, No Ride program. You can do so online. They're trying to help low-income families get helmets, so we need some donations to come in to do that. Just go to wcco.com slash links for more information. Thank you so much Thank for coming you. in and for Thank helping you. spread this really important mes message. Thank you. Thank Good you. to see that Willie's doing okay. Yeah. Thank you. 